What's up everybody, this is Eric Howe, AKA DJ Inferno. And I went from DJing in high school cafeterias as a mobile DJ, to touring the world, playing stadiums with Madonna, to now impacting the lives of kids and grownups. Want to find out how? Keep watching. What's up everyone, this is DJ Inferno once again, and I wanna welcome you to my channel, and I'm really excited to kind of relaunch this channel with a whole batch of new content. So for the most part, this channel really is for DJs and producers, whether you're an aspiring DJ, aspiring producer, bedroom, club, mobile DJ, whatever it is, you're gonna get some value out of this channel. And especially for those DJs that really wanna level up their performances with technique and technology. Now, if you've been following me for all these years, thank you guys so much for your support. And if you guys are new to this channel, please, if you wouldn't mind, hit the like button and especially hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get notifications on when my new content comes out because that content is coming soon. So in this video, I'm going to share with you my story so that hopefully it will inspire some of you guys in your own musical careers. So I got my start as a DJ in 1991. I started out as a mobile DJ. I was 16 years old at the time. I was doing sock hops, parties in the school cafeteria uh, after football games on Friday nights. I did this all through junior and senior year of high school and all through four years of college at UVA and started DJing nightclubs around 1998. And I've been doing nightclubs ever since. So after I graduated, I started getting into turntablism. I started entering DJ battles and you know, at first I really sucked, but I kept at it and I started sucking less and less. And then next thing you know, I started winning stuff. So eventually I won the United States DMC championship in 2003. And I went on to play second in the world that year. So I thought that was pretty good. So I've been playing piano since I was seven years old. I took about 11 years of lessons, right? And around 2006, I realized that I wanted to kind of combine elements of being able to play keys live along with DJing and turntablism, meaning using the turntables as instruments in a live setting. This was called my live remix project, right? So I just, this is kind of a labor of love. I kind of kept at it. I started uploading videos to YouTube. And what ended up happening was that ended up getting me seen or in front of some people that referred me to my agent. And that actually helped me start traveling outside of my own city to play DJ gigs. Pretty soon after I started this live re remix project, this is where everything kind of took a turn for the good. I was doing like a live remix project set in Orlando, and I happened to be in a nightclub in the city of the music director for Madonna. So he happened to be there. He happened to just have gotten the gig with Madonna. She told him, hey, we want a cutting edge DJ to be in this show look out for a cutting edge DJ. The music director, shout out to Kevin Antunes, finds my number on the internet, off my website, gives me a call the next day while I'm at the airport. I get a text message on my Palm Pilot saying, hey, this is, um, this is the music director for Madonna and Justin Timberlake. I saw your show last night. Can you give me a call? Long story short, I end up touring with Madonna in 2008, 2009. And then for the next eight years after that, I toured on my own about 40 to 45 weekends out of the year I was gone. And this was awesome, right? This is great. The only thing is, I also have a family, got a wife and kids, right? So I missed a lot of stuff on the weekends. And after a while, I started realizing, you know what? I want to start building something at home that would allow me to be at home with my family more and with my kids more. So around 2015, I had two experiences, right? That kind of changed my life. So one of them was a gig up at Bates College up in Maine. I had been booked up there to play their quad party, but they also brought me up there to teach a workshop, right? And in this workshop, I could teach whatever I wanted. So uh, at the suggestion of a friend, uh, shout out to Adam Toby, um, he said, why don't you do something in the workshop where you just create a song with the students, like make something in the room. And I said, you know what, that's a great idea. Why don't we do that? Let's do That's exactly what I did. We actually made a song, myself and about 25 college students made a song in that room from scratch. It was really, really cool. And I got different people in the classroom to come up and do different parts of the song. And it being this really cool collaborative thing where we made music together. Turn up at Bates, sweat on your face when you move in your waist. And in the process, I was teaching them about music, about how music is made and how music production works. Really, really cool. And then later that night at the party, I played the song 
for the crowd and they just went nuts for it. It was awesome, man. It was just such a good experience. And I thought to myself, you know what? I wanna work with kids, right? And at the time, kids to me meant college kids. The other experience happened right here in this room. This is my studio at my house. My daughter and her friend who were five years old and eight years old at the time, um, they would be playing all the time in the house. And I would tell them, you know what? If you ever wanna make a song, just knock on my door, knock on my door and we'll make some music right here, right now. They eventually, they knocked on my door. They said, you know what? Can we make a song? I said, absolutely. They came in, right? So it's my daughter, her friend, five years old, eight years old. And I started talking to them about music. Like, okay, what kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you listen to? What kind of music do you want to make? You know, we started, uh, you know, creating melodies on the spot. You know, like I asked uh, my daughter's friend, hey, can you just sing a melody? Anything off the top of your head? Doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's off the top of your head. She did that. I took that melody and I put it into Ableton and we put that down and then let that loop over and over again. Then I started having them add some drums. And at the same time, as they're hitting the, the kick drum on my pads or hitting the hi-hat on my pads, I'm teaching them about audio engineering, right? Which sounds are lower, the kick drums or the hi-hats, right? And this whole process ended up being, it was about maybe 15 or 20 minutes. We made a song together and it was kind of like, it was eye-opening, man. It was like really, really cool. Not only am I doing something fun with the kids, but I'm doing something that is really teaching them something about music, about creativity, and also about the technology that we use to make music. I just thought this was the coolest thing ever. So that was the moment that I decided to start Mix Major. Mix Major is my now music technology school for kids, strictly for kids, where I teach kids Right now, from grades three all the way through 12, how to use computers to make music, regardless of whether or not they have musical training. And this is really cool. This is one of the big reasons why in the last few years, I haven't been uploading a lot of videos. I know it's not an excuse, but I've been spending a lot of time focusing on my mixed major program, which started off as after school programs, which led to summer camps, which led to doing in school programs, which led to doing assemblies for like 400 kids at a time. It's awesome. I've also got something called Music Interactive. Music Interactive is kind of like a hybrid of DJ Inferno with mix major, but for adults. I do this with corporate teams as a team building activity. It's really, really cool. And you'd be surprised how many grown-ups are just as excited to learn about music production as kids. It's like literally the same reaction. It's awesome. Another thing I do with Music Interactive is something I call Music Interactive Live. So if you imagine my live remix project, imagine that, but being more live, more interactive. What I do with Music Interactive Live is I involve audience volunteers, I sample their voices, I take their sounds live on the spot, lead the whole group in this kind of collective song performance. So check out the video. I'll put a link in the video to that so you can check that out and see what that looks like. It's really, really cool. So thank you guys for watching this video. You heard about me. Now I want to hear about you guys. Please hit me up in the comments. Introduce yourself. Let me know if you're a DJ, a producer, a live remixer, or all of the above. I want to hear from you guys. And once again, if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and ring the bell for instant updates on new content because there's some cool stuff coming up soon, including my first set of tutorials, which will be an inside look at my own live remix project set inside Ableton Live. And in that video, you'll get a download link for my own personal Ableton Live remix set. So stay tuned. Thank you guys very much. I'll see you soon.